Please kill me. That poor man. I hope someone does kill him. Hey, hey, come on over. Have some fun with Rebel. Taxi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Video games, are they art? This one time I saw a picture online of a pantsless woman standing behind a glass case menstruating all over the floor of a museum. So at this point, Crazy Taxi is also art. If someone tells me otherwise, I tell them to quit menstruating on my rights, bro. In Crazy Taxi, you pick up and deliver a series of passengers to their destination under a time limit. It's about as simple as it can get without being diagnosed for a developmental disorder. Extra points are given for drifting or avoiding collisions. I double my score going the whole game without picking up a minority. You don't really get extra points, but it's a moral victory for me. Knowing the way around is the key when the green arrow points through walls sometimes. The arrow points to the right direction, but my heart always points to Pizza Hut. Hey, that was serious. Thank you, right? In 1999, a big city to explore was so rare when Grand Theft Auto looked like, well, it looked like shit. Renting this back then, I was like, no, I don't want to drive anyone. I want to explore this world. This game blew my balls. You got a bunch of music. A bunch is a unit of measurement, after all, featuring songs by Ghost Rider and the Holy Ghostbusters. I don't know why you would, but when you play the game with the soundtrack off, you realize how truly frightening this game is. I don't like this version. Crank up the cheerful, happy music. Okay, never mind. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. You either give a shit or take a shit. No cops, no rules, just a taxi and his driver, Zolo. He's just like a samurai. Here is me covering up evidence of a murder and forming a monopoly. Oh no, the beast lives another day. He's gonna tell on me now. Oh, this poor chump with the bouquet of roses is racing like hell to KFC. I don't know what you did, but you are in so much trouble. Shockingly, there's a pregnant woman you can escort. Lady, I don't think you belong on this ride. Good God, I took so long to drive her, she jumped off the speeding cabbie. Abort mission, abort mission. Are you serious? 300 bucks for a trip to the Levi store? Was the economy this good in 1999? Praise the Lord and Savior Bill Clinton, people had money to burn and the value of life was discounted. Those people don't deserve to die, but angels deserve to. Die! Crazy Taxi had two sequels. It was more the same, but you could pick up more than one passenger at a time. And also jump. Ooh. The third one even featured maps from the previous games, altered with more paths to explore. You may disagree, yet my favorite Crazy Taxi game was the shameless knockoff Simpsons Road Rage. It had multiplayer, the drifting and acceleration were much smoother, and depending which character you chose, dialogue would be different for some passengers. Why aren't you in school, boy? Um, there was a fire, and, um, Principal Skinner and all the teachers burned up. My only issue was getting trapped in walls sometimes, and what was up with the color of the Simpsons house? Who did this? Too bad Sega sued the Simpsons for ripping them off. I had no idea you could copyright gameplay styles. What if somebody copyrighted first-person shooters or zombie games? Get in. I've got candy. It's been 11 years since Crazy Taxi 3, but Sega is dead set on re-releasing the first Crazy Taxi on every console, totally by the iOS version. It's just great to have this on the go with simplified controls. Dare I say, it's the best port. You also got the choice of Arcade, PSP, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation Network, Xbox Live, Game Boy Advance, Dreamcast, GameCube, the GameCast, the Virtual Boy, Vectrex, Sega Game Gear, the GameSphere, the fucking GameSphere! That was the best version! Hey, wait, there really is a Game Boy Advance version? This, this is like a fake video game you put in the background of a movie. Even The Simpsons did it, those conformist Crazy Taxi HD. I'm pretty sure this isn't HD and that taxi's not even yellow. Taxigames.net? A whole website of just taxi games? Are you fucking me? Like, fucking me specifically? Rebel Taxi? Why is everything blue and why are the loading screens three weeks long? Hey Arnold's Runaway Bus? Buses aren't taxis. Or crazy. This is not crazy bus. Crazy bus, crazy bus. Ah, goddammit. Riding down a crazy bus, riding down a driven by a funny clown. <laughs>
Well, 11 years and still no new crazy taxi games. The guys who made the underappreciated split-second Blackrock Studios were gonna reboot the series until Disney pulled a look at your ass farts and abolished the studio to the nidosphere. You were gone too soon, Blackrock. It's a shame Disney burned your house down with lemons. I don't know if we really need a next installment. How much can you do with this concept? Maybe a more down-to-earth sequel, Moderate Taxi where you drive safely under the speed limit, and everybody's your friend. One of these days, we'll get a new Crazy Taxi game. Until then, I'm Pan Pizza, and if you think you should relate my videos to this franchise just because we both have taxi in our names, then shut the fuck up. Play me out, offspring, you passionate ham boner you. Game over. Game rated T for teens. Yeah, I'm here for my life. Get behind that yellow light. Yeah, I know. Life is good. You better get out of my face. You ain't gonna get your pop license back. Yeah, I know. I got on you. You drive through the mall, the subway, city mall. You got the dope. That was some big air. What's your problem? Hey, that's what I get paid for. I made some serious cake that day. Crazy Taxi on Sega Dreamcast. It's